Welcome to our second series of Hymn of the Month from Viscount Classical Organs, this time from the beautiful church of St Mary in Chalgrove. The art of hymn accompaniment is something that is not often taught to organists. Performers can often find themselves thrown in the deep end when first faced with a congregation to support, and over the coming months, I will aim to give you a few tips regarding choices of tempo, registration, and also articulation in order that you may get the most out of the instrument at your disposal, whilst also working towards a musically rewarding and uplifting experience. The organ played in all of these videos is custom built to match the new choir stalls behind it, but is based on the Envoy 23, the smallest instrument in the range to feature Physis. Viscount's physical modelling platform. The season of Lent and Holy Week is the church's most sombre and reflective time. To that end, many beautiful hymns may be chosen, with J.S. Bach's harmonisation of the Passion Chorale being one of the most popular. Most organists will wish to exercise some restraint in registration, given the time of year, so it may be that a single eight-foot manual stop is sufficient if one can be chosen that is gentle and clear in speech. A well-marked articulation for the melody line is a must, and players may wish to imagine that they too are singing this so that natural space is given for breathing. The final verse used today is a harmonization from Bach's St. Matthew Passion and lends itself to the poignant words of the fifth verse beginning, my days are few, O fail not with thine immortal power. Mm -hmm. 